All right, how many times has this happened to you? So you're working on a project, you just finished everything, and you just committed it to Git, but you forgot one single line in one single file that you need to add to your commit. And so maybe you're working on a readme right here, and you forgot to add one line. Oops, I forgot this. And now what you can do is you can just add this, and then you can just make another commit and just say, I added one more line to the readme, but that's not the cleanest way to do it. Uh, if you like keeping your git log clean like me, it's like this should really be part of this initial commit right here. It shouldn't be a whole different commit just because one line was added. So instead of doing that and creating a whole nother commit, what you can do is you can use this useful feature that git has called git amend. And so in order to do this, we're just going to use git commit and then dash dash amend. You can hit enter and it's going to open that in your in your default text editor. For me it's Vim and then you would just make any edits that you want. Maybe plus added a new line or you can just leave it the same as it is. Save and exit and then it is now a part of your commit history. So it's now fixed your history. There's no problems. There's not another commit. If you just look in your git log everything is nice and clean. And of course, if you don't want to use Vim, you can change the default text editor with, let me, let me think, git config, dash dash global, core.editor, and then the name of your editor. Maybe it's Nano, maybe it's Visual Studio Code or VS Codium, but I'll just stick with Vim. And that is how you amend a git commit. Now, of course, you don't always want to be changing the git commit. Probably most of the time, you're just going to want to keep the commit message exactly the same. So instead of opening up your text editor, Vim or whatever, uh, you can just write git command dash dash amend and then dash dash no edit. And so no pop up will come up, it'll just commit it and that'll be over. And if you also don't want to use the pop up text editor, then you can also just write after amend dash m and then a new commit message. So anything else? and then that will be the new commit message that it will overwrite the old commit message. And if you haven't pushed this up to your Git server or GitHub, then you are completely fine. You can push this and you're not going to have any problems whatsoever. But if you have already pushed it to GitHub, then that's where things get a little bit tricky because the only way to really push this back up to GitHub if you've already pushed it to GitHub, uh, you are editing the Git history, which is not recommended on a public repository. Maybe you're working on a team with other people. So you have to be very careful if you want to run this next command. And I would only really recommend this if you're working on a project alone. So I have a lot of different projects where I'm the only contributor to it. Nobody else is working on it. So I would use that in these cases, but not in other cases if you're working with somebody else because this can overwrite their commit history. So you would write git push dash f, this is force. And if you know anything about Git, then you know to be very careful with this and then origin and the branch that you're working on. And like I said, if this is a public repository and other people are working on the main branch, then you want to be very careful not to overwrite their work. So if you are in that case, then I would just create a new Git commit instead of amending the last Git commit. That's just going to be the easiest way to resolve that. But if you're not in a public repository or also if you're not in a public branch, like for instance, on a lot of my projects with teammates, uh, whenever I create a new feature, I put it on a new branch. So maybe I have a new feature branch and I'm the only person working on this branch. Nobody else is. In that case, then it's all right to push force this. But again, you just wanna be very careful not to overwrite anybody else's work. I'm not responsible for you destroying any of your teammates' work, so just so you know. But I have done this before where if I'm the only person working on a new branch, with a new feature. That's usually how I do most of these collaborative projects. If there's a new feature, you break off from the main branch and only add it back whenever you're finished, which is probably something you should be doing if you're working with a team. Then it's okay to do that, I've done it before. But anyway, let's say this is my own project and I don't care that I'm rewriting the commit history. I can just git push dash f origin master or main, whatever your main branch is called, hit enter and that will now be pushed up to GitHub. Your old commit uh, where you created the readme without the additional line is now erased from history and is replaced with your new commit.
So that is a very useful way to just kind of keep your git log a little bit cleaner, not have so many random commits. And this is one git command that I use all the time, git command dash dash amend. I would remember it because it's one of the most useful commands that there are in git. Because I don't know about you, but I make this kind of mistake all the time. Oh, and one more bonus because I forgot. If you just want to change the commit message, but not any of the files inside it, maybe you made a misspelling in your commit message and you don't want your boss to think you're a moron. So what you can do is you can just git commit dash dash amend without any changes and you can just change the commit message from here. Let's add an exclamation point, check the git log, and we now have a changed git commit message. All right, now we're done.